Have you ever considered before getting your house listed to have it professionally staged? Well, if so, stay tuned because I'm gonna be talking about the benefits of staging your home and it starts right now. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Real Estate in the 757. So today we are discussing staging and I'm sure you've heard of that term already, but did you know that homes that are staged not only sell quicker with less time on the market before they're under contract, but they also sell for a higher price. And for those reasons alone, I think it's worth your while to listen up as we discuss staging a little more in depth today. Now the first question we get all the time is how much is staging going to cost me and is it really going to work and be truly beneficial? Well, to tackle the amount of cost, I would say on average between two to 3,000 depending on how big of a space, big of a home you have. Now this current um, condo we are in right now is just under 1,500 square feet and I believe was around 2,000 to stage. And that may seem like a lot, but if you have a property that you're trying to sell um, and it's empty, it's all about trying to help people envision as they walk in where things would go. And because now the open floor plan is so desirable. Um, even though we want that, when we walk into an, an open floor plan in a property, but it's completely empty, it's really hard to gauge where you would put your sofa, your couch, your chairs, your dining room, and make it flow really well. So staging it is a really great, smart thing to do to help people envision that as they walk in, and it will benefit you. Also, do not think that because you have hired a stager that they need to stage every inch of the home. You may not put furniture in every single bedroom. You might just um, really focus on the master bedroom, um, but you, the living room, the dining room, those main areas where you're going to spend all your time as a family, those are the areas you really wanna focus on. And then the kitchen, it's just a matter of a few simple touches that go a long way. All right, so for example, here in the kitchen, as you can see, everything has been taken pretty much off the countertops in the kitchen, except for just a few well-placed items. And we do that so that it's not cramped, it doesn't look crowded. So your coffee pots, crock pots, things like that, you want to remove and store them elsewhere. And just a few simple added touches go a long way. So if your home is completely vacant, someone would walk into the space and be probably unsure where things would go and how it would look with furniture. So by doing this, you are removing that unknown for them and they walk in with just an immediate wow instead of trying to figure out where they would place their items. Doesn't this just make the room show so pretty so well when you can come in and see the room already staged as a gorgeous master suite. And in the bathroom, it's just a matter of adding white crisp towels beside the sink and the shower. And again, everything else has been removed off of the countertop. All right, so there you have it, our lowdown on staging. Now we understand that you may not be able to put two to three grand into having your home professionally staged. And if that is you, that is okay because we are still gonna be there for you. We're gonna come in alongside you, help you figure out ways that you can declutter, um, neutralize the space and make it show as good and as wonderful as possible. We love nothing more than helping our clients with that. Um, but thank you for coming to our channel today. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you can stay up to date on new videos as they come out each and every week. We want to be your number one local resource for all things real estate here in Hampton Roads. Until next time.